Good morning. <laughs> it's cold, y'all. It's cold. But I feel like this thing is like loose. But I'm thankful for today. I pray you're having a wonderful day. I'm trying to change my intro, y'all. I feel like my intro is like corny. <laughs> But anyway, we'll work that out. If you're new to the channel, welcome back. I love you. If nobody told you that today, I want you to know that I love you. I'm looking a little crusty. You know, it's cold. I'm just trying to bundle up and be warm so y'all won't even I'm mine. My attire, I put on my hoodie, my TSU hoodie. College I went to, Texas Southern University. Shout out to Texas Southern. And then I put my jacket on top. And... Anyway, I wanted to do this quick video because I was reading, I think it was Deuteronomy chapter one and two or three, or maybe the first three chapters. And I did some videos yesterday and I didn't even talk about, you know, what God had led me to it when I was reading and the revelation that I was getting from it. And I was like, a lot of times I'll just go off an of unction of what I feel the Holy Spirit is leading me to say or what God is placing on my heart to speak about. And sometimes like I don't even speak about what I actually read. And I said, you know what? I want to do better right now. I want to speak more about, you know, what I read. I wish I was at home so I could actually have my Bible and read the scripture to you. But I'm just going to paraphrase it because I don't have my Bible with me. Um, so in Deuteronomy 1, 2, and 3, it was between those chapters, it was Moses, and he was talking to the children of Israel, and he was telling them basically what God, you know, ooh, that's so good, that just gave me a revelation right there. He was talking about what God wanted the children of Israel to do, or what they had done, and why God was making the decisions that he was making. So God, well, I already, I just told you that part. I was going to say something else. But anyway, let me try to go over here. Moses was telling them that because you guys was disobedient, because you guys rebelled, because you guys complained all of these years, you're, you're not going to the promised land. And, and I think he even talked about, you know, how he wasn't going to go to the promised land as well because, you know, of how he got angry at them. And... I just want to take a minute. See, I, I wasn't going to go here, but I'm going to go here. I just want to take a minute and just meditate on how mature of a person you have to be, how sold out for God you have to be for Jesus to be able to see. Ooh, that's the Holy Ghost. See, the Holy Ghost was just talking to me about discipline. He, took, he was talking to me about discipline in Hebrews. And he was saying that you know, when we discipline and we chastise, you know, to not get upset because that's our father and he's disciplining us because he loves us. And it don't feel good while it's happening, but it's working out a greater good. I paraphrase that as well. So I just want to take a minute to say Moses was a bad man. And I mean, that was, that's a good thing. He was, he was a really like mature man who really loved the Lord. Even to hear that, hey, I'm, that I'm not going to the promised land, but he still understood and he didn't question God. He didn't argue with God. It was like, whatever God says, it what goes. God don't make no wrong choices. And not just a humble, meek man. I just want to take a moment right there. So anyway, he's telling them that they're not, they're not going to the promised land, right? And so then the people began to say, oh, pretty much they like, give us another chance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he was saying that, they're going, the next place they was going to go was the, um, I think it was to Canaan. And they was like, I think they had sent spies out to come back with the report. And so I think that was the final straw. When the spies came back, ooh, that was a revelation for me right there too. So God is telling us that he going to show us some things concerning our future. And we got to have faith and we got to believe in his promises. And we got to believe what he's showing us. We got to believe in the prophecies that he's given us through the people of God. Glory be to God. We got to believe the prophecies that he's given us through the word of God. The prophecies that he's given us through our dreams and our heart. 
Come on, glory be to God. We got to believe him at his word. We got to have faith. All things are possible. We have to believe. Come on now. Say, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm passing through a church and it says Canaan. Missionary First Baptist Church. Glory be to God. We have to believe the Lord at his word. Ye can that of our sight. It is safe. La 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 Sunday. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. He want to take his people somewhere. He got plans for us. Come on, glory be to God. He said, we just got to say yes. Come on, give God a fresh yes. Glory be to God. I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way in the name of Jesus. He said, we don't have to understand everything. We just got to trust him. Come on. We're not going to know everything. We're not going to always have the blueprint. Come on. We're not going to always understand what he's doing, but can you trust the Lord on today? Give God a fresh yes. Tell God to trust him. Come on, telling you trust them with your whole heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so they was like pretty much the people of the children of Israel. They were like, nah, we going, we going. They they didn't made it up in their mind that they going to the promised land. Like, we we give us another chance, Lord. So they tried to go up to a battle, and God say, Don't go to the battle because I'm not gonna be with you. <laughs> so they rebel and go up to the battle anyway and get get their butt whooped, get their butt handed to them. So they running, running back from the, the people didn't chase them up out the land. They didn't ran out the, ran the people, ran the children of Israel up out the land because God wasn't with them. He said, I told you not to go. So basically they, they just in a state of like, oh man, woe is me, a sad state because they, they not going to go. Only the people that's going over there is Joshua, Caleb, and the children. And this, this blessed me y'all because he said, he said, because the children wasn't up at an age to where they knew the difference between right and wrong. I was so blessed when I read that because I was like, you know what? God, you are such, such excuse me, such a just God that you wouldn't even make them babies pay for that punishment because they didn't have, they, they didn't have no, they didn't have no idea. Like they, they, man, that just blessed me. That God was like, they going over to the promised land. They ain't do nothing wrong. Them babies ain't did nothing wrong. Them babies is going. I don't know. I think it was probably 20 and under. Everybody that was 20 and under, if I'm not mistaken. But I was like, man, God is so good. And so, going past that point, I'm going to try to make this video 10 minutes or less. And I think that's good for instructional videos explaining the word of God. Come on, because the word of God is so good. It's our life, y'all. It's the air that we breathe. Come on, because Jesus is the word. And how you know that the word became flesh. Come on, glory be to God. So as, as we continue to speak this word, as we continue to live at this word, guess what? It's going to manifest in our lives. So we got to speak the word. We have to read the word of God. It's our God. It says that the word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. Come on. So everywhere I go, if you're in darkness, if you don't know where you're going, if you feel like you're lost, if you feel like you're confused, go to the word of God. It's going to bring light to your situation. Let there be light in Jesus name. Amen. Glory be to God. And so going forward, then Moses laid out instructions. He laid out a blueprint that God told him or God gave him to pretty much delegate leaders. And then he said, there's going to be leaders of, I think it was like the most, it was like 200. I'm going to have a leader of 200 people. Then I'm going to have a leader of a uh, hundred people. Then I'm going to have a leader of 50 people. Then I'm going to have a leader of 10 people. I said, wow, come on. See, even the pastors, the leaders, the uh, anybody that's a leader of anything, they should be reading this book right here, Deuteronomy 1, 2, and 3, I believe it was. Read that because it's giving you instructions on how you should pretty much lay your assembly out. It's giving you wisdom. So there shouldn't be no confusion in the body of Christ. And God is saying that my leaders need to delegate my body the way that I ordain them to delegate it, not the way they want to. A lot of leaders are going to get in trouble because they're not releasing the people of God in the proper places where they need to go. If you are a leader, you should know your flock. You should know what abilities they have and capabilities they have. You should know by way of the Holy Ghost. If you don't know, take them to the Lord and ask in prayer, God, what do I need to do with this person? God, everybody in my assembly Everybody in my congregation, I need to know what I'm going to do with them. I need to know where they need to be, God. Because if you bought them here, 
there's a place for them here. There's a job for them to do. They even going as far as saying, thank you, Holy Spirit, I received that. Going as far as saying, how long, what season are they in? How long do they need to be in this position, God? And Lord God, let me know when the time is up and there's a new season where they need to be transitioning to another position. Glory be to God, because some people don't always stay in the same position. It's seasons to everything. Glory be to God. And Ecclesiastes say there's a time for everything. That was so good to me. God is speaking. And those who are in God's way of this next move, they will not make it to the promised land. If you are hindering God's move, you're not going to make it to the promised land. If you're not moving by faith, you're not going to make it to the promised land. If you're trying to manipulate and control the glory of God, you are not going to make it to the promised land. I pray that you heed this morning. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Put the people in their proper positions because leadership is needed. There is a move of God coming and God don't want confusion. He don't want chaos. He want things done decently and in order. Set the people in their proper places. Don't care about the murmuring and complaining of people who don't understand what God is doing. Well, why are you doing this to them? Why are you putting them over here? Are you God? Because if you're not, you should keep your mouth closed because you might find yourself in trouble with them. I'm just saying. Ha. Anyway, let me get up off here. It's 11 minutes. I love y'all. I went over y'all. I'm sorry, but God bless y'all in the name of Jesus. I pray this video blessed you in the name of Jesus. To God be all the glory. And if y'all got some ideas for how I should do my intro. See, this is how I was doing my intro. Thank you guys. Welcome to Kiera Woodard's page. I'm a minister of the gospel. I love you with the love of Christ. I just want to tell you a little bit about what I do, okay? I bring a rhema word. Glory be to God. I give what the Lord is placing on my heart to speak to the people of God at the right time so that the people of God can be built up, exhorted, and put into their proper places and can also discover who they are in Christ Jesus and know their purpose. Glory be to God. I want to see you excel. I want the best for you. I want you to make it to heaven and I want you to bring a million of other people with you to heaven or as many people as you possibly can and I want the same thing for myself. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. Bye-bye. <laughs>